How's it going, everyone? This is the old game log bringing you guys Black Ops 2 gameplays. I also have some good news for you guys. The um, Humble Indie Bundle number 8 is here. So if you guys don't know what the Humble Bundle is, it's basically... Um, you pay what you want for a certain amount of games and you can support charity. Now these games are cross-platform DRM free games. Basically, you got from today 14 days or two weeks to get this uh, bundle. Now, obviously, it's going to be a link in the description where you guys can get all this and where you can read all about it. Without further ado, let me say what games you can get. So basically, you donate uh, anything. If if you donate, I think the minimum is a dollar, but if you can donate a little bit more to get the Steam keys. But if you donate a dollar or more, uh, or at least a dollar, you can get basically I think five games at the moment. Um, one you can get is Little Inferno, which you guys have... have it, this is not crappy indie games, you know. This is a top-notch, you know, awesome, the most highest rated indie games, like, on the market right now. So you can get Little Inferno, Awesome Knots, plus the exclusive chicken skin. You can get Capsized, Thomas Was Alone, and you can also get Dear Esther. Now, if you pay above the average, because they work out an average of how many, how much people donate at the moment, and keep in mind that I'm making this video um, when it started on 29th of May, so at the moment you can get uh, Hotline Miami and Proteus. The average right now is five dollars and sixty-eight cents. So if you can beat the average, you can get those two extra games. Now, that's not all you can get. You can also get amazing soundtracks included with most of the games. So you can get Little Inferno soundtrack and whatnot, and Thomas Was Alone soundtrack, which, as we all know, the game is uh, it's all based around sounds, and it, the game is fantastic. It's one of the best games I've ever played. Anyways, so if you want a few more extra games on your Steam account and you want to give about $5, you can get about 7 games for $5. Now, the thing is, they usually do add a couple more games throughout the week, which, if you got them right now, you can get them then after as well. You just gotta go back to the website and redeem those two games. Either if you give the average or not, it doesn't matter. You're still gonna get those two games uh, later on in the week. So... To me, I, I think I participated in this more than once now, and that's where I got most of my games on Steam is from in the, uh, not in the bundles, but from the humble bundle, where it basically means that um, you pay what you want really, and then you can get certain games. Uh, it's cross-platform, so all the games in this bundle at the moment are compatible with Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Uh, you can pay what you want if you bought all these items separately. It would cost you over ninety dollars, but you know, you can set the price. You can also support charity. Uh, and you can also choose exactly how your purchase is divided. So you, you can give, uh, you can choose, there, there's sliders when you donate that you can choose exactly how much will go to the, uh, um, to the foundations, you know, to the Child's Play charity or the Electronic Frontier Foundation. Uh, you can go to the game developers, you can choose how much you want to go to them or even the Humble Bundle itself, you know, help pay the website and whatnot. Um, this is an excellent website. It's very good for charity. You get some games out of it. I would, I would go for it. I'm gonna get it me personally, and I wish you guys. I hope you guys do as well. Um, it's only about five dollars at the moment, so if you do get it, it you get seven good games for five dollars. I'm not talking about seven mediocre or low games or those kind of games that you know when you go to a shop, they're all thrown in into freaking one basket in the middle of the shop that nobody really cares about. I'm talking about actual good games, you know? Actual games that actually have good ratings. Again, I should talk a little bit about each game, just so I don't repeat myself much, but uh, I don't have really that much time in the video, because I only chose to have a short video. Anyways, in other unrelated news, I did got my uh, heatsink delivered today, and my thermal paste, which I've put it on my computer, and I should start uh, to my uploads video schedule as it was before. So I've started rendering some videos today. I had some problems uh, when I first did it, but I think I'm okay-ish now. I still got a lot more to do to make it more optimal. But um, so far so good, and I think I can't complain very much. So, guys, this is all I want to say in this video. It's only a quick one anyways. Um, I, I appreciate your guys' support. If you could give it a like, a favorite, or a comment. That means a lot to me and does help my channel grow, believe it or not. So, 
yeah, it's been the All Gaming Blog. Thanks for watching my video and uh, peace. All enemies have failed to end our goal.